Hey everybody, I want to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to install Melon DS. It's pretty simple, but um, I'll show you guys some tips also on how to like set up the top screen and the bottom screen, as well as the save state locations in those areas, and so you can transfer your files easier. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to boot up into the Steam desktop mode, and you're going to come down here to the Discover app at the bottom. You're going to come up here to Search, and you're going to want to type Melon DS. Press Enter. You want to come here to the right and you want to click on install that go through its thing so once that's finished installing we're going to open it up by clicking on launch and one of the first things we're going to do here is go to config path settings and we're going to set our path for our save files and our save states save files being like when you save in game at a save point and our save states like being a save point that's actually created through the emulator so let's set those here. So the first thing that we're going to do here is go to browse for a save of files. And then I have my run media, so pretty much my SD card here. And I can right click. I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm going to call this save files. Actually, I'm going to go back one, and then I'm going to click on this folder that we just created. I'm going to click open. So that is now our path for our save file. And then we're going to want to do that same thing for our save state. So create a new folder. Save state. And OK. And go back again. And make sure we have save state selected. Let's click on open. So now we have our path set for our save files and our save state. And we can click on OK. So once those are set up, we can actually open up our ROM by going to File, Open ROM. Pokemon White 2 is what I'm going to use here. I'm going to open ROM. So I'm going to show you my config for the screen layout as well. This is what worked best for me. You can feel free to mess around with it, but here we go. So I'm going to double click to make it bigger. I'm going to go to Config. Screen layout was natural. Screen sizing emphasized top. Aspect ratio top 4 3, bottom 21 9, no screen filter and show LSD, limit frame rate, no audio sync. And then I'm going to show you my video settings here. So I'm using the software and use separate thread. So if you start messing around with the graphics and you notice that the audio starts getting out of sync too or it sounds really crunchy, um, most likely you kind of have to tone down your graphics. And so this is what worked best for me. Audio sounds good, looks good, yada yada yada. So I'm going to go to file, load state here just to show you guys what's going on. So you can see the top screen there, and then the menu there at the bottom. So yeah. And I'm going to go over save states now and save files, just if you're not familiar with that stuff. So for anyone that's new to emulation, a save file is pretty much a memory card save. And a save state is the actual 0.9.5 build actually saving in the program. Save files are usually more transferable. Save states are usually build dependent. Um, so whenever you transfer saves, you want to go with your save file. So we can actually get a save file, you'll see here. Am I actually saving the game through the way that it's meant to be saved? And so I'll let the game go through its thing here, and then we should see the save file pop up once it's finished. Let's see here. Save the game, and there it is. So yeah, so whenever you transfer your save file, stick to the dot saves, and yeah, you should be good. All right, and that should be everything that you need to set up and start playing DS games. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below, and yeah, have fun and enjoy.